think about those adverts that you see on TV for a new shampoo where glamorous people flick their shiny hair next to statements that read 78% of customers like this product. Or what about when you're asked to rate your recent experience at the cinema or at security in the airport or in a local restaurant by giving it a number of stars? This information is interesting and useful, but it doesn't allow us to dig into the subjective experiences that people have in everyday life. This is where qualitative research methods come in. Instead of focusing on numerical or quantitative data like statistics or ratings, we focus on data that takes the form of talk or sign or writing. Essentially, whatever language is employed, qualitative techniques can be used. When we conduct research, we don't use questionnaires or experiments. Rather, we hold focus groups or interviews where we ask open-ended questions that explore individual experiences, or we review written documents such as diaries or blogs, or observe and record the nuances of interpersonal interactions as they take place. Qualitative research is concerned with how individual people make sense of specific experiences within particular contexts. It incorporates researcher reflexivity, is primarily inductive and studies the real world.